GCHQ is lifting the lid on some of its secrets. From secure telephones used by the likes of Churchill to the Five Yuko, this sent coded British messages during the Second World War. It was so secret, it was thought all of the machines were destroyed, but GCHQ kept one. All of this once classified technology, now declassified for public show. This is a Soviet agent radio that was discovered uh, by a farmer in a field in Wales in 1980, just dug it out of the ground. We've got some ideas from the frequencies on the radio crystals of the sort of distances that you could transmit messages, but the crucial fact, who was it left for, who used it, are ones that we don't know and we perhaps will never know. This part of the exhibition tells the story of the Portland spy ring from the early 1960s, led by Helen and Peter Kroger. They were an apparently ordinary Canadian couple living in suburban London, but in fact they were spies sending top secret British documents to the Soviet Union. And here's some of the equipment that they used. This was their radio transmitter, which was found hidden under their kitchen floor. And this was the Kroger's cigarette lighter. It has a secret compartment inside that contained a timetable of when they needed to send their secret transmissions to the Soviets. The exhibition shows just how secret communications have changed history and not just through the use of technology. Also thinking about the people behind those stories who are doing the work. One of the real privileges for me was to be able to talk to GCHQ staff about some of the work that they do and to hear those personal stories, some of which visitors can listen to here in the exhibition. This openness would have been unthinkable even a decade ago, but it's hoped the exhibition will encourage the code breakers and cyber experts of the future. We need to inspire the next generation of brilliant minds so that our children can see themselves working in this world understand what they can bring to it and make them able to shape our digital future. There is so much to see here, even GCHQ dust, particles of once top secret tech that's been ground down to destroy the classified information, all part of the extraordinary story of a century of code breaking. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West at the Science Museum in London.